Hello, I'm Nicola McCarthy. It's Thursday, the 30th of January. Welcome to City Today. Well, what a performance it was last night. As well as scoring five goals and going top of the Barclays Premier League, the team also set a number of records. Vincent Company became the first ever Outfield City player to win 100 games in the Premier League, hitting the century in 163 games. The Blues also racked up eight Premier League wins in a row for the very first time. Well, on top of that, Cunaguero's goal makes him the fastest blue to reach the 50 league goals mark, hitting the milestone in just 81 games. And it makes him the fifth fastest in Premier League history, beating the likes of Thierry Henry, Michael Owen and Luis Suarez. Well, it's time now for our second instalment of My City. Today, club ambassador and legend Mike Summerby gives us his favourite City Eleven. Starting off, I got there's only one person for me, and I was privileged to see him play in goal. Was that was Bert Troutman? I saw him play many times as a young boy when I lived in Cheltenham, and he was a fantastic goalkeeper. He controlled the box and did everything. Right back, I have to. I don't have to, but I'm going to pick Tony Book because not only was he a great friend of mine, he was also a great leader, and also he came into the game, a professional game, very very late. If he'd come in earlier, I would have thought he would have been picked for his country many times at right back. It was difficult because Zabaleta is a big favourite of mine and they're very similar the way they are. Uh, centre half, I call it, with uh, twin, twin centre halves, I will put Vincent Company and Dave Watson. Uh, both Dave Watson is a very hard and very uh, resolute defender. Vincent Company is, a, is exactly the same, but he can go forward and he can create problems from the back four. A boy that plays centre forward. Uh, for Manchester City as the youngest player ever to play at centre four for Manchester City, Glimpardo. Uh, he then went to right back, to left back, and he was outstanding. For 4 4 2, I put uh, Colin Bell on the right hand side because Colin Bell was Colin Bell. He could get up and down, he was, uh, his energy was unbelievable, and he was also a great finisher and he could back, he'd come, come back and defend as well. He was outstanding. Yaya Tori, what can you say about Yaya Tori? Very similar to to Colin Bell. Uh, Colin Bell defends a little bit more than Yaya, but Yaya gets into the box and he's outstanding to watch him play football. It's a privilege to watch him play. But then you have to put the magician in, in midfield, which is David Silva. He's absolutely a pleasure to watch him play. It's just, it's like watching, but well, I'm watching an artist play. He opens the game up, he opens tight defences up, he's touched the ball, it's absolutely perfect. We have to have a de defensive player in there, which is Mike Doyle. Uh, if you cut him open, he'd have blue blood in him. He was that much a City player, but he was a very uh, very hard and very defensive player. We needed someone like him in midfield to allow Colin Bell and Yaya and David Silva to, to weave the magic which they can do. And probably the most important thing for me is our strike force, and it's very difficult. We've had some amazing players here. Tevis is a fantastic player. We had Dennis Law. Great players playing for City, but I've gone for Aguero because Aguero for me is well, he's just an outstanding player. Hold the ball up, he can create situations for himself. And the other person alongside him would be Francis Lee because they're very similar in stature. They're not tall people, but they're very strong. They've got a strong lower part of the body, and they've also got that instinct for scoring goals and creating goals. So they're very similar, but I think they could work very well together. Excuse my glasses, but I am Mike Summerby, and that is my Manchester City 11. Well, what a team that would be. And remember, we want your My 11s, so pick up your smartphone or your tablet, pick your team, and send it to us. And here's what you need to do make sure you fill in widescreen, be in the centre of the shot, and look down the camera. Make sure it's well lit with clear audio with enough room for graphics and, of course, no swearing. Well, that's all for today. Make sure you join us tomorrow on Transfer Deadline Day when we have a very busy day ahead of Chelsea on Monday. See you then.